We have three amazing agents. What makes you excited? I like the action. How much do you want to make? Write that on a check. I want this info. That stuff excites me. We're going to change lives out there. Ready? Would you say money or winning the game? It's what follows. Mm -hmm. You do a good job and you sincerely care about your clients, the money follows. Why and the money's a reward. I, and, I, and I want them to know something that if I can share this and you can expand. It was a referral that came in and I called you, the aid client requested the number one agent. I said, okay, we introduced you, you met and you called and you said, thank you, I love you, but just to let you know, I want you to know the reason I didn't take it. I appreciate it, but I'm just not the right agent for that $3 million house in Thousand Oaks because he wanted you to be the one showing the properties, turn the candles, and do all the work. Do a round off back hands back, back in the back. Correct. Yeah. And you said, I'm just not the right agent because that's not my business model. I'm not going to drive to Westlake or Thousand Oaks, do all the showings. Then you call me the next day. I don't know if you remember this. This is like six years ago. Vaguely, I don't remember what happened. You called me, you said, I went to a lady that has a $300,000 condo in Woodland Hills, and I listed it. And then the next day she said, my mom has a property in Calabasas, and my sister has a property in Sherman Oaks. Then you got three listings out of that lady. Then you said, I'm sitting on a dining room of a $300,000 condo in Woodland Hills and I got three transactions, I'll take that all day long, then work with that client. You never know. You don't, you don't know and that's why I also think it's important, right? Like people think, oh, you only sell these big expensive mm -hmm. homes, but you could take a listing of a three, four hundred, five hundred thousand dollar townhome, condo, whatever it is, and you never know where that's gonna mm -hmm. take you. It was years ago that I listed a property. Other agents didn't want to take it, and I took it on. That man referred me to so many people. He referred me to people in Hidden Hills. He referred me to people in, so you just never know never where, know. where it's gonna come, where it's gonna go. I want to give an opportunity for, you can ask a, one question to one or another, or you can ask me anything you guys want to ask each other. Um, you know, you said, well, um, um, at 45, I want to be, if, you know, if I'm done, you know, if I'm rich. What does that look like for you guys? I mean, because I know, like, every year for me it changes. <laughs> um, and it's changed several times. Um, if you ask me right now, I could probably say what I think would probably make me feel a little comfortable. Quantifiably, I'm just curious if that's something you guys have identified. So, I, I've been on my own since I was 17 or 18, right? So I'm living on my own, taking care of my own bills, not having help from anybody. And every year that's, uh, that, what, that same question changes. I write a goal of what I want, but I don't write a goal of what I want in 10 years. Mm -hmm. But all I know that I want deeply is I want freedom. I want freedom that I could wake up happy without the urge of fear of failing, because I failed before, mm -hmm. I've lost everything before, so I don't want that feeling. Mm -hmm. So that fear is driving at the fire, but I, I, I want that fear to be gone. So I don't know how to answer your question, except I want that fuel to be down and for me to be happy internally. So I don't know, that makes any sense yeah, at all. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. so. Do you have questions for Eric since he threw a big one? That's a how do you say so? discipline and what you do, your beliefs, your, your business model, your calls. I mean, how do you say so, especially at your age where you have so much influence, right? Influence from her, influence from me, influence from all the people who are doing well in this business that are different things mm -hmm. and you have your niche that you are sticking to and believe in it so much. If you try five different things, you're going to find which one you feel more comfortable with. Yeah. And the one that I, my, my niche, which is meeting strangers yeah. that have a need, need help, um, and that at first meeting would hire me. That's, that's my niche. Um, and I wasn't always the best at it. But then I realized that as not good as I was at that, I was worse at other stuff. So um, just knowing that that's just, that, that was my, my highest use of time was let's just say six years ago, just propelled me to just dig deeper, hire a coach, hire an accountability strategist, hire help. When I go into business with someone or when I meet someone, 
these are the parameters that I'm, I'm good for you for. And if it deviates from this, I'm not good for you. And that's okay because you have options and so do I. So I go to work with the mindset that I'm going to go meet one or two people that are going to hire me for the job of selling their homes. Yeah. And that stuff excites me. Like it, it's my juices going. Like there's nothing else that gets me flowing that much. Knowing that that's the purpose of my day, week, month, almost life. It makes me know that. So if this is the only thing I'm going to be fairly okay at, I better be like the best at it. I don't do much of anything else but that, which is practice my presentation. Because when you go to a presentation, it's like when you go to a circus delay or like a Broadway show. Yeah. These people are going to cut you a, a check for yeah. whatever that amount is. They deserve a great presentation, yeah. a question-based presentation that leads to a like seamless close. And it's already an awkward and comfortable situation. My objective is to make it as broad away so that they're like, encore, this was such a great experience that we don't need to go back and forth. Where did I sign? Yeah. And then uh, let's just mm -hmm. get this ball going. So um, my objective always is to make it as short as possible because people have a short attention span mm -hmm. and to do as many of them as possible and therefore have a compound effect on, a, on, the, on the scale. If you have one like one or two sentence advice for someone who's doing well, but they admire you, they watch this, and they want to be like you. What would you give them? One or two sentences. Um, one or two sentences, just set a higher goal for next year. And don't set it by, by an extra two deals. Set it by 20, 30, 40, 50% more, and hopefully you lead somewhere in the middle. You know, I used to be afraid of having more than two open houses, just afraid. And then we got to two every month, every week. Then we got to three, then we got to four, then we got to five. And I'm like, wow, this, this is stressful. And then you get to 10 or seven. At that point now, you know, now, so that's where I am. And so you build... You build your stamina, and just like running or working out. You, you build your stamina of what your body, mm -hmm. what your mind could handle. And then you realize, oh, that's actually doable. doable. Mm -hmm. So my coach in the beginning, when I wanted to get to a certain point. He said, how much do you want to make? I said an amount. He said, great. I put it on a check. And that number was just not real. Was so much, right? I mean, and it's not a lot, but it was mm -hmm. still a lot of money for a 19, 21 year old kid. I reached that number. Then the next step is you increase that check. You take steps. There's no success without taking steps forward. And most people want to get to this without taking steps. And they go, well how, well, how do I get here? Well, you don't need to get here. You need to get here. One, one year, or six months at a time. That's okay. what I feel. How about you? How about Decide you? what you want, and then reverse engineer it and make a plan. Same. Yeah, that's same. Steps. I think I will have a similar advice that a lot of people, we call, in Gary Keller's book, talks about E2P. So they make amount of money and they hit that and they think comfortable and instead of trying to push it from here to here, what they do, they're like, what about I do something different? Maybe I'll flip homes here, maybe I open a lending company and I, they come up with all these ideas. It's like instead of just, no, no, focus on what you're doing and have a breakthrough, go to the next level. What would you give it? What's your advice? <clears throat> um, I think that if, if I was my 18 year old self again, I would invest more time on a regular basis daily uh, for two things, for skill and preparation, like an hour mm. or two hours worth. And then I would also invest at least an hour or two hours worth for mental, mm -hmm. um, mental stamina, uh, mental fitness. Um, this is a 100% mental fitness game. And uh, it's clear when, who the people that are mentally fit. And some of us, it takes us this long. Some of us, it takes us this long. And some of us, like me, that slow, it takes us this long, right? So I, I seriously believe that there's so much stuff that goes into your head, like negative people, the news, your friends, your family, social media. One of, that's, I think, one of the bigger ones. If I was an 18-year-old right now, I'd say, get off of social media. Like, there's less good that, uh, than bad that happens on there because you're usually people showing you the best version of themselves and you compare your insights to their outsides. Um, I'd say just focus on putting some stuff in your head that's going to actually push out all the garbage because there's a lot of garbage going in. And I think that if I knew that early on, I, 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 think, that, um, I think that things would be a little different. Well, I think you have done really well in a very short time and you don't let garbage in, clearly. 
You you know a lot of people. You obviously you work with a lot of also in real estate agents, brokers. As but I also sold homes, work with partners that they're not necessarily in real estate, but they have businesses. Who do you know that you will say they run a good team, business operation that you look up to? On the outside. Like, it like, doesn't. You can name well, anyone. Any business, not real it estate. It can be any business. It can be just in real estate. Someone that comes in your mind. You know what? I want to pick this person's brain on this, or I wish I can call and have a talk with them about. I don't know. I would say you. Okay, thank you. But, um, but seriously, I would okay. say you. You have kids. I mean, I I, I'm not trying to kiss your ass. Okay. Uh, you have kids. You have a partner. You have multiple businesses. People around you respect you, right? Adore you, respond to you. Yeah. Ha if a person has respect and leadership, then that person is doing something right. If that person just is getting money and is killing everybody around him, then it's a different type of person. So to me, you would be that example because from the outside, it seems like you have your together, um, but people also respect you. So some of that That's must true. be true. Thank you. No problem. That's true. I'll go with that. Okay. I mean, goddamn, if, if I say somebody else, I'm <laughs> going to see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, Eric, say the same thing. <laughs> say the same thing. <laughs> I have no idea how much I appreciate you coming here. I really hope I can make it up to you for the loss of this income. Was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Um, it was good. Mm -hmm. And I am hoping this will change lives. And I hope if you're watching this, you know that their struggle, they have the same struggle that everyone else has. They want to win and the money follows. And they have a very clean plan. They don't give up and they don't have a perfect life that you think they do because they struggle with the challenge of a team, new hire, family, family kids, kids, medication, taxes. <laughs> medication, taxes. Um, taxes. <laughs> and <is> soccer <laughs> games. And all the stuff yeah. that goes with it. I love you guys and thank you for thank doing you. this. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you guys. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks for watching.